Web 3.0, as the name itself suggests, is the emerging phase or the latest phase of the evolution of the internet. Web 3 or Web 3.0 is based on the concept of creating a totally decentralized ecosystem. This new technological dimension believes in leveraging the power of a dot I, machine learning, and the latest technologies like blockchain to solve the problems of the present-day internet ecosystem. So let's see Web 3.0 in detail. But before that, welcome back, guys, to your own channel, Women in Crypto, where I share amazing and informative content through my videos. So without any further delay, let's get started. What is Web 3.0? Web 3.0, Web 3, is the third generation of the evolution of web technologies. The web, also known as the World Wide Web, is the foundational layer for how the internet is used, providing website and application services. Web 3.0 is still evolving and being defined, and as such, there isn't a canonical, universally accepted definition. What is clear, though, is that Web 3.0 will have a strong emphasis on decentralized applications and make extensive use of blockchain-based technologies. Web 3.0 will also make use of machine learning and artificial intelligence, AI, to help empower more intelligent and adaptive applications. Another aspect that is part of the emerging definition of Web 3.0 is the notion of a semantic web. Among those that have advocated for the integration of semantic technology into the web is the creator of the web, Tim Berners-Lee. It took over 10 years to transition from the original web, Web 1.0, to Web 2.0, and it is expected to take just as long, if not longer, to fully implement and reshape the web with Web 3.0. If the trend of change is traced from Web 1.0, a static information provider where people read websites but rarely interacted with them, to Web 2.0, an interactive and social web enabling collaboration between users, then it can be assumed that Web 3.0 will change both how websites are made and how people interact with them. How does Web 3.0 work? With Web 1.0 and Web 2.0 technologies, hypertext markup language, HTML, defines the layout and delivery of web pages. HTML will continue to be a foundational layer with Web 3.0, but how it connects to data sources and where those data sources reside could be somewhat different than earlier generations of the web. Many websites and nearly all applications in the Web 2.0 era rely on some form of centralized database to deliver data and help to enable functionality. With Web 3.0, Instead of a centralized database, applications and services make use of a decentralized blockchain. With blockchain, the basic idea is that there isn't an arbitrary central authority, but rather a form of distributed consensus. An emerging governance ideal within the blockchain and Web 3.0 community is the concept of a decentralized autonomous organization, DAO. Instead of having a central authority that governs the operations of a platform, with a DAO, Web 3.0 technologies and communities provide a form of self-governance in an attempted decentralized approach. Web 3.0 also fundamentally works with cryptocurrency, more so than with fiat currency. Finance and the ability to pay for goods and services with a decentralized form of payment is enabled across Web 3.0 with the use of cryptocurrencies, which are all built and enabled on top of blockchain technology. Both Web 1.0 and Web 2.0 were primarily built with the IP4 addressing space. As a function of the massive growth of the web over the decades, there is a need in Web 3.0 for more internet addresses, which is what IP6 provides. In this whole system, blockchain plays an important role without which nothing is possible. So let's see. What role will blockchain technology play in Web 3.0? Well, as far as improving the internet and increasing its efficiency is concerned, Web 3.0 powered by blockchain technology can really be helpful in many ways. Using blockchain technology, the speed of transactions can improve to astonishing levels. From 7 transactions per second, TPS, with Bitcoin in the initial days to 50,000 TPS with Solana today, blockchain technology can really transform the course of the future of the internet and how we are accustomed to using it.
If used properly, blockchain technology can help improve not only the digital transactions sector, but also the digital healthcare sector, supply chain sector, and many other important sectors in the market. Blockchain technology can also redefine the way we are used to seeing social media sites. However, despite all the big promises that Web 3.0 and blockchain technology have, the implementation and adoption of these technologies in real-life scenarios will take a lot more time than we can expect. Blockchain technology, like any other technology, has a few drawbacks of its own. Thus, implementing the blockchain technology in the mainstream will be a bit of a challenge, until and unless the associated problems have been dealt with. The way Web 3.0 will be adopted in the mainstream, and what changes it will bring to the way we are used to is only for the time to table. But one thing is for sure the future of the internet is bound to be interesting. Key Features of Web 3.0 Web 3.0 may be constructed with AI, semantic web and ubiquitous properties in mind. The idea behind using AI comes from the goal of providing faster, more relevant data to end users. A website using AI should be able to filter through and provide the data it thinks a specific user will find appropriate. Social bookmarking as a search engine can provide better results than Google since the results are websites that have been voted on by users. However, these results can also be manipulated by humans. AI could be used to separate the legitimate results from the falsified, therefore producing results similar to social bookmarking and social media, but without bad feedback. An artificially intelligent web will also introduce virtual assistants, an element that is already emerging today as an aspect built into a device or through third-party apps. The idea behind the semantic web is to categorize and store information in a way that helps teach a system what specific data means. In other words, a website should be able to understand words put in search queries the same way a human would, enabling it to generate and share better content. This system will also use AI, the semantic web will teach a computer what the data means, and then AI will take the information and use it. There are several key Web 3.0 features that help to define what the third generation of the web will likely be all about, including the following. Decentralized. As opposed to the first two generations of the web, where governance and applications were largely centralized, Web 3.0 will be decentralized. Applications and services will be enabled in a distributed approach where there isn't a central authority. Blockchain-based. Blockchain is the enabler for the creation of decentralized applications and services. With blockchain, the data and connection across services are distributed in an approach that is different than centralized database infrastructure. Blockchain can also enable an immutable ledger of transactions and activity, helping to provide verifiable authenticity in a decentralized world. Cryptocurrency enabled. Cryptocurrency usage is a key feature of Web 3.0 services and largely replaces the use of fiat currency. Autonomous and artificially intelligent. More automation overall is a critical feature of Web 3.0 and that automation will largely be powered by AI. This was all the basic information about Web 3. Now we will see. Web 3.0 Applications With blockchain at the foundation, Web 3.0 enables a growing number of different types of new applications and services to exist, including the following. NFT Non-fungible tokens, NFTs, are tokens that are stored in a blockchain with a cryptographic hash, making the token unit unique. DeFi Decentralized finance, DeFi is an emerging use case for Web 3.0, where decentralized blockchain is used as the basis for enabling financial services outside of the confines of a traditional centralized banking infrastructure. Cryptocurrency Cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin are Web 3.0 applications that create a new world of currency that aims to be separate from the historical world of fiat currency. DApp Decentralized applications D-apps are applications that are built on top of blockchain and make use of smart contracts to enable service delivery in a programmatic approach that is locked in an immutable ledger. Cross-chain bridges. There are multiple blockchains in the Web 3.0 world 
and enabling a degree of interoperability across them is the domain of cross-chain bridges. DAOs, DAO, are set to potentially become the organizing entities for Web 3.0 services, providing some structure and governance in a decentralized approach. If you have read about Web 1 and 2, you must be thinking, how is Web 3.0 going to be different from the previous versions of the web? So let's see. Web 1.0, or the very first version of the internet, was only a basic read-only version of the internet. It did not allow much functionality or flexibility to the users. The users were only allowed to read information from the websites. The second generation of the internet, or Web 2.0, i. The stage of the internet that we are at right now allowed a bit more flexibility. Web 2.0 gave the users the flexibility not only to read, but also to write, upload, send and receive various forms of content, text, image and video, via the internet. So, Web 3.0 is bound to be better and much more advanced than the internet that we are used to today. In other words, Web 3.0 refers to a new, improved, and democratized internet ecosystem which will be free from any sort of central authority. Using blockchain technology, Web 3.0 can transform the way we use the internet. It has the potential to open up a whole new dimension of the internet. People will be able to buy, own, sell and earn by selling their digital content in the form of NFTs. Once Web 3.0 is widely accepted, various uses of blockchain technology, like smart contracts, Decentralized apps, the apps, will become more popular. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Subscribe to Women in Crypto for more amazing videos like this with me. Until then, peace out.